and welcome to um, Full Contact Nerd. Um, I will be doing um, daily new new book alerts, basically, where I let you know about the um, books being published or released today. Um, and this segment will be military and non-military history books. And I also post this on my YouTube channel, War Scholar 1945, or archive it there. So let's see what we have today. So we have a Roman warfare history book about uh, mass violence in Roman warfare. We have a reference book on Indian guns, historic and modern guns, coming out today. We have a Dictionary of Chinese Intelligence, published by Roman and Littlefield. The Role of POWs in American Military Conflicts. University Press of Kansas, so uh, an academic read there. Um, a book about Klaus, sort of a biography of Clausewitz, um, or looks like a translation of his works, um, about his time in the Napoleonic Wars, University Press of Kansas, so another academic sort of book. And then a book on the wartime conference between Churchill and Roosevelt, where they decided um, Europe first. So a study of this conference. That's my history side. So, anyway, what I do is choose the most interesting for the day, because um, there are so many I have to be pretty ruthless about it. What would be most interesting to me, but of course, <clears throat> you can make your own decision. Um, I like Napoleonic War stuff. That's a translation. What indeed? That looks cool to flip through. I like ancient warfare. Oh, decisions, decisions. What would you choose? So this is good, but it's too narrow a topic. Um, that looks interesting. I would love to look through this. That would be fun. Oh, that's a gun for sure. Um, dictionary is a good reference, but not for a daily read. This is an interesting topic, how POWs have been used. Um, spare no one. Talks about... This looks good. What, what, indeed... Actually, I'd like to flip through this. Let's see, that would be an interesting read. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Guns looks interesting. Coalition crumbles. Ah, boy, boy. Which one? The guns or Napoleon? I think I'd want to flip through this check it out so there you go so that's today's released books oh wait a minute this is February 20 oh, I hate when that happens okay so um, this won't be the one I'm gonna have to fix that and um, yeah so it's gonna be the Indian guns is the winner I have to fix this uh, in my notes okay Alright, so now we can do history books. So we have this one on Jeffersonian America, University of Virginia Press. There's one on the Alexander Mosaics, a sort of an art review of this mosaic of Alexander. We have more about early American Republic. We have a profile, this is American so one of my categories is American history, so this obviously falls under that. But I also do American politics. So we have this book about American politics. Um, a 
another one on Roe v. Wade. And again, this is not, um, I'm not making any political judgments. This is non-political. This channel, it's, uh, it's about just presenting what history books are out there for people to read. Um, Plantagenet, Ireland, the history of them. The Plantagenet, Plantagenet kings in Ireland. Burial in the late Iron Age and early medieval Ireland. So kind of maybe an archaeology book here. Four Courts Press. The history of Kashmir. The Private Diaries in Turbulent Times. So, so I guess the diaries of this financial news editor. That's interesting. Music at the court of this person in Rome, so a Polish queen and the music at her court. This is Racial Justice at Duke University, published by, don't say who, what's the publishing date, and Activists, the Yellow Vest Movement in France, these activists. Hmm. So, What's the most interesting? So I just kind of cut it down. This is interesting because it's contemporary. That's pretty interesting, but too narrow. Um, too narrow. That would be interesting. That's interesting, but narrow. Again, I prefer more broader looks. That looks, again, narrow. Cashmere narrow. That looks interesting, but uh, drop that. That's pretty narrow. Let's see how in depth does this go. 300 pages. Ireland's changing roles. That looks kind of interesting. I like my medieval history. So that beats that out. So it was an early American Republic. That would be interesting. Versus Irish history. Um, for some reason, why do I... Which one do I find more interesting between these two? Um, which one, which one... But does Ireland win? I'm actually more on interested in the American Republic at the moment. So I'll drop this. Which one of these rival visions? Prophecies. Let's see. And they look at the anxieties about the future. I guess which one? University of Virginia Press. Um, I'm not sure who published this. So there we go. The winner is Revolutionary Prophecies, published today, and this one is not the right one. But uh, the Indian guns, if you recall that. Anyway. There you go. And again, you can check this out on um, my YouTube channel. I archive it there, War Scholar 1945. All right. Um, thank you for watching. And in a few minutes, I'm actually going to be doing uh, fiction studies, sci-fi, fantasy, horror, for my Full Contact Nerd channel, Chris Alvarez, on YouTube, and also... Um, my webpage. Alright, thank you.